Today I'd like to talk about the spaces I have set up as a web developer I think works pretty well for me as far as my workflow. Um, the way you set up spaces, you go into System Preferences and Expose and Spaces. Um, you come in here, you add the programs that you want to use um, in spaces and you assign the space to them um, like so. Um, and I find this really, really e great if you have multiple programs you use for dif different workflows. Um, so the way you activate it is with F8. I assign my mouse to be center click would be F8. Um, that's with another program called Steer Mouse. Um, so the first area I have here is my Gmail Active Collab. Um, just general browsing I do in this first window here on Chrome. Um, it's, I find it pretty fast and I have some pretty cool extensions as far LastPass, Google um, Bookmark, Bookmark Sync. Um, pretty awesome fast browser for just general browsing. Um, on the left hand side you can't really see it. Um, I have two f finders opened. I have um, my Audium chat program. It enables me to chat with Gmail uh, Gtalk as well as uh, f what's that place called? Um, uh, it starts with an F. Oh yeah, Facebook. Yeah, enables you to chat with those guys. Um, here I have Gizmo 5 set up with Google Voice that lets me make free internet phone calls. Um, okay, so that's that workspace. Workspace one. Workspace two over here I set up for calendar iCal and which syncs to Google Calendar um, and I have this is my area I have for um, recording I use uh, ScreenFlow to record um, the next area I have is for um, primarily for Internet Explorer testing I have installed Windows XP two versions of it one for Internet Explorer 6 and one for Internet Explorer 7 and then I have Windows 7 installed for Internet Explorer 8 um, as you can see here and it works pretty good. I just have Photoshop open and a bunch of other programs. That's why it's running kind of sluggish, a little bit slow. Um, works pretty pretty good, I'd say, for a virtual machine. Um, this area, this is where I get most of my work done. This is where I spend the most amount of time in in my day uh, with uh, Coda. It's an awesome application that lets you develop a very very clean, neat little IDE. Um, on the left hand side I have Firefox and Firebug set up. Uh, maybe in another screencast I can talk about some of my Firebug extensions I use. Um, the next area here is my Photoshop area and I um, have 960 grid opened up. I have I recommend my designers use it and usually they give me a nice clean little Photoshop document with uh, the layers organized in folders and um, this is where I do my slicing. Um, in this area here, we do a lot of we do a lot of flowcharts and uh, wireframing. OmniGraphel um, 10 Pro, uh, OmniGraphel Professional. That's right. Um, and uh, it's an awesome program uh, when you when it comes down to wireframing and flowcharts. On the left hand side, I use I have open some CSS showcase for inspiration. Um, down here is Coda's uh, little brother, uh, Transmit. Awesome FTP client. I think one of the best. Um, on over here, I have my font management. I use Font Explorer 10 Pro. Um, manage all the fonts. I haven't set it up yet. Kind of a little bit sloppy in here right now. And on the right hand side, I use Font Doc to preview my fonts. So if I say preview, probably spelled that wrong, but oh well you see the different previews. Uh, moving on, this area here I have blank, I don't know why, I just feel that I could use that space for something, maybe if I have flash open I throw it in there, or um, Dreamweaver, which I almost never open, but I, or Illustrator for, for example, I can put in this area. Down here are my um, browsers I use for testing. Uh, I have Chrome again opened, this is not for browsing, this is for testing. I have opened Safari, not for browsing, for testing and Opera, not for browsing, for testing. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my workflow and uh, let me know what you think. Uh, if you like it or if you have any comments or questions, uh, let me know. If you think you have a uh, tip for me to optimize this, let me know. I'll uh, 
maybe someday revise this and uh, give you some credit. Thanks.